Hello and welcome to the Malloy Mid-Season Report. My name is Robert Goldberg and today I'm here with head baseball coach Joe Fucarino. Joe, thanks for sitting down with me. No problem, thank you. So you guys come into the season this year, back-to-back -back ECC titles and deep runs into the region. How has that impacted the team and the mindset heading into this year? Well, I mean, we look at everything as each year is a different book, we call it. Um, so, you know, it's nice to have the success we had the previous year, but kind of just set new goals this year, which is kind of similar to the year before, um, and just kind of just get after our practices and, and get ready for, for the regular season. That's, that's our goals all the time. You guys had a lot of graduating seniors and leaders from last year's team who made the historic run. We guys also brought back a, a core nucleus of your team, a lot of good bats, and your entire pitching staff. How impactful has that helped the team coming into this year? Yeah, we're we're a, we're an upperclassman lady team, and even the freshmen that we did bring in and a couple of the transfers, they gelled in right away because we do have like a lot of the culture and and our leadership from players such as Jake McCarthy and Chris Peralta and even Brian Morrissey who's been here two years and Mike Andrioli who's been here two years and Charlie Cucciara. Um, Robbie Keane, we, we've got guys that have been around the program for a while, and even our juniors, you know, they're in their third year as well. So, out of about 34 players, um, we only have five freshmen. And that's paid, you know, dividends going forward. You guys have had a lot of success. One of the biggest acquisitions I'd say you guys would have is new pitching coach John Cooley. How has the pitchers really adapted to his philosophies and his impact on the pitching staff? Yeah, John's been a good addition, um, especially, you know, last year kind of juggling the pitching staff and the and the team between myself and, at the time, Coach Messina. Um, so now having a pitching coach that's with the pitchers all the time, that's what's always needed. The pitchers need a pitching coach. And, and John's done a really good job setting his his structure and, and his plan with the guys. And, you know, so it's been a huge addition for me and Coach Galanotis with having the pitching coach on because Johnny can handle the hitting and I can do all the defense and, Coach Cooley handles the pitching, and then collectively all three of us together work on all the other intangibles. So it's, it's definitely been a big help. The beginning of the year, you guys played a really hard non-conference schedule. What are you looking for in the non-conference as you guys build to conference play? I want to be challenged. The guys know it. I'm going to play the toughest schedule we possibly can play prior to conference, get through it, um, and, and get us ready for conference. Yeah, everyone thinks that you know sometimes maybe it's too challenging and add up, but I'd rather play the toughest schedule we possibly can play against the regional teams and even some teams outside of our region. So when we get ready, when we're ready for conference, we've been battle tested even way before that. And you guys just opened up conference play against Mercy, had a lot of success against the Mavericks. What can you do to sustain the success heading into the ECC and make a deep run in the playoffs? But also, what can you improve on that you've seen so far early in the season? Yeah, well, each week is each weekend is a, a separate weekend. I break it down into each conference weekend series. So we were very pleased with you know the results as far as the wins this weekend, but um, our defense was not where I like it to be. Even though we're still fielding in the high mid nine seventies, um, we had a little bit of a lax with our defense. So that's something we have to continue to make sure that that's part of our everyday plan, our pitching and our defense. Um, happy where the guys are in their mindset. Um, I just think, you know, every week you got to go in a different week. The conference is a four-game series now on the weekends. Um, you, you can't take any opponent lightly. Everyone in this conference can beat you on any given day, and you just have to now plan. we got a midweek non-conference game prior to next weekend. We play that game on Wednesday. We start preparing for the weekend. we got College of Staten Island this weekend, and that's the only team we're worried about. I don't look at the scoreboards. I don't look at what's going on in the conference. For the week after, I see what the teams have done each week to kind of get a gauge. But, you know, for us, it's every weekend. Every weekend, we just got to concentrate on that specific team we're playing. Joe, thank you for sitting down with me. This is the Malloy Mid-Season Report, and we'll check back in with baseball at the end of the season.